Now, imagine having a seizure in public and instead of people coming to help, they avoid you because they think you're drunk or even try to steal from you. Well, that is the reality for people with epilepsy, according to new research, which looks at how seizures in public are impacting people with the condition. Today, a charity is launching a campaign to highlight how we should deal with someone having a seizure. Tim Muffet reports. In myself, I was feeling very sick, very dizzy. So my breathing then suddenly becomes a bit more shallow, so I'm going, I'm trying to suck air in. Whilst jogging in this field in East Sussex, Simon knew an epileptic seizure was imminent. My tongue's gone, my eyes are gone, I can't move, um, and this is where the big seizure happened. So I've, I've lost consciousness, um, and the next thing I can remember was dog walker. He didn't know that I was having a, a seizure. That's a common reaction, as Simon knows all too well. He's had epileptic seizures since he was seven. It's like a volcano. You're waiting to explode. A lot of people don't know how to react. I have gone to the stage of wanting to take my own life. The dog walker who found Simon did call an ambulance. But the charity Epilepsy Action says many with the condition are often dismissed as being drunk or on drugs. In a survey for the charity, others reported being robbed or physically assaulted whilst having a seizure. Electrical activity happens in our brains all the time as brain cells send messages to each other. An epileptic seizure happens when there's a sudden burst of electrical activity that temporarily disrupts the way the brain works. I don't want to worry you, it's just, I think, I'm about to have a seizure. This video has been made to help explain what to do if someone with epilepsy believes a seizure is imminent. First, cushion my head with something soft to protect me from injury. All set? People always just see someone having a seizure and they think, call 999. But I think it's sort of more the bit between having the seizure and then between calling 999 that they don't know what to do and they sort of panic a bit. 17-year-old Morgan lives in Grimsby and also has epilepsy. We've arranged a Zoom call with Simon so experiences can be shared. It took me ages to speak about it. Um, and that was probably my undoing. I think maybe this might be a generational thing because yep. I've never really felt that sort of stigma around growing up with epilepsy. I'm preparing to go off to uni soon. Morgan, make sure you keep that confidence. I do work in time, I carry on with life, and I think you've got a great inner strength there. Has that been useful for you? Really important to have hope, and I'm someone who think who tries to never let my epilepsy hold me back, and from what Simon has said, he does that too, and I find that really inspirational. I think being younger is a lot more scary. Medication and brain surgery have helped Simon, but it's his family that are his greatest strength. His daughter Evie and mum Debbie are with him today. You're much more positive, aren't you? If epilepsy was better understood, they're convinced the lives of those with the condition would significantly improve. Tim Muffett, BBC News. One of the UK's best.